Good day traders, Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. Just continuing our discussion with some examples of peak formations and three levels of rise or fall. These three levels or three pushes occur interday. They occur um, Monday to Friday. It occurs over the course of a month on the daily charts and it'll occur over the course of weeks and months in terms of three weeks of rise or fall three months of rise or fall and you can go back and look at your daily charts for examples of this as well during the week again just Monday the pink line as I mentioned I consider a Monday in my head I just think day one Tuesday day two Wednesday day three just looking at the pound Swiss this is a great example of the market creating an anchor point from the previous week low of the week Monday again we talked about even just that that normal bar chart pattern where we get an open a high low uh, whether it's if it's an up day and then a opposite for a down day but and then going into consolidation and a close but again you can see, we talked about the 25 pip box or, or identifying the highs and lows you can see the market go sideways from Friday's close into Asia stop hunts high drops hits the stops down low before going into consolidation into the next day's session and again just look for the examples of possibly where the market has consolidated into the close perhaps done a stop hunt low trended into the high or trended into one direction and then at the session changeover New York equities stop hunt high consolidation into the close and again same scenario yesterday but more importantly now we talked about on Monday day one traders may have saw this as day one down but then Tuesday has come back up and we can see that Friday had a high Monday hit that high again so again if we were talking three levels of rise from the anchor point which Monday's repainted we've got one push two push into this 2700 round numbers level and then one two three and in that third day one two three on a Wednesday for the sell-off back down to the low so we don't always see a perfect template where it just goes up one day two day three day four days sideways and five down we'll see them paint all kinds of scenarios one thing that is important to identify are these lows which I call anchor points when the market works itself back up in three pushes or down in three pushes from an anchor point these these highs and lows when they're pins often will become magnets for the market to return back to and these are great trading opportunities and again going back to what we talked about in an earlier video counting our boxes 25 pips 50 pips 75 pips one level two level three levels of rise into the double zeros rolls over into the equities open sideways drop peak formations often will have aggressive V top V bottom types or pins on the tops so again go back and look at your your charts Monday to Friday and see where you can identify potential peak formations and then look at which side is the market working is it working the top of the market or the bottom of the market if it pulls away off of a low and goes back immediately to the high start thinking that the market is working the high the high of the week and you'll be looking possibly again as we get higher and the market's not making any new highs that we could be approaching a sell-off area for the move back down to the low of the week pound Canadian again Monday we possibly saw an anchor point low painted at the the bottom of this cycle from the previous week's Thursday the Friday took out the last high before the low another concept to start to focus on the last high before the low and the last low before the high these are areas that if the market shifts through and then layers on top of or below we can now identify that as level one so Friday potentially was was day one in our new cycle 
Monday took that out or continued that move up again from the low. So we could consider Monday again day one. Tuesday day two. Heading into Thursday, uh, sorry, Wednesday yesterday, we had a one, two, three into the high. It dropped, went sideways, and then moved down almost 100 pips. So again, if we have a reversal from a peak formation and it takes out the last high before the low, or the last low before a high, anywhere in here, so in this particular cycle, Monday, Tuesday, when the market reversed through here, that became our last low before the high of the week. The market eventually returned to test that and broke through on Tuesday this week. Stop hunting traders who were short from Tuesday the previous week and then rolling over again and going after traders who were long from the U.S. session on the Monday of this week presently so last night we saw one push two push three pushes down before it's shifting back this morning in Asia and if we identify our last high before the low again we've seen that the market today has pulled back above that and I wouldn't be surprised for this market to possibly retest this morning's Asian breakout and possibly retest the high of the week We've seen it pull back and layer on top. So this 7200 layer could act as a layer of support today. We'll watch how that um, opens up with our Europe-London changeover. And then again, retesting possibly the high of the week. The pound yen, Monday, traded sideways underneath of Friday's peak formation, which was an M top. And then within that, we had a smaller M went sideways, moved down strongly on Monday. We had an anchor point from last week's peak formation low where the market traded to yesterday. But again, coming back to our day one, took out the last high, sorry, the last low before the high. Went through that in Asia, pulled back, went sideways, gave us our M pattern. And then the magnet, the anchor point magnet, where traders were possibly long in Asia, became a magnet for the market to move to, as did Friday's stop hunt low. We saw the market retest that yesterday, and again, three pushes. One push from the anchor point low on Monday. One push up into Tuesday. Th two pushes. Traders, uh, the market dragged it down within that 50 pip box, and then one push, two push, three pushes into Tuesday's high before it shifted down and went sideways for the move down back to the low of the week. So again, we talked about working from the highs and the lows. Most important to see when those areas have been broken. This was an inside bar. End of day traders would have been long. Their stops most likely would have been at the opposite blue tracer. The previous, uh, on the opposite side of the inside bar, the market trap traders going long before it reversed. This is a great setup. I look for this all the time when it consolidates after a big move in a downward template or an upward template. The market will often uh, trigger those stops early, but when it drops down and shifts sideways, that's when we'll look for that move out of the Asian range to retest the lows or highs of the week. So again, we see this market going to consolidation. Uh, no evidence of a last high before the low. Uh, today, I'll just be watching this to see how it handles the low of the week. It may not be anything whatsoever for us to, uh, to do with this pair. The pound. So again, Monday, if our last high before the low. So we have another lower high that the market consolidated on top of on Friday. But the uh, which retested the low and gave us a W formation, went sideways, shifted up, broke out. We'll call that day one. The market then auctioned back down on Monday to reverse strongly on Tuesday for day two. Pulled back, went up a third time into the high before dropping over on Wednesday below that level too high, consolidating and going sideways underneath 
underneath. The consolidation occurs underneath of the peak formation. The consolidation occurs on top of the peak formation low. Peak formation low on Monday. The market consolidates, moves sideways, and then retests and it resumes its original drive upwards. One, two, three. Sideways drops down and consolidates for the retest and the move back down. So again, today we see that this last high before the low has been broken. We'll watch to see if this market stays consolidated as we head into the Europe-London changeover. Again, it's possible we could see a re retest down low for a move up or a consolidation and a move right out of this range back towards the high of the week or towards stop hunting traders from yesterday's short trade. Pound New Zealand. Again, uh, from last week's anchor point low, we saw the market shift up above the last high before the low, trade sideways before eventually layering on top, shifting up strongly. If we called this level one, this whole move up level one, going into Tuesday, uh, sorry, Monday, level two, the market auctioned back down, and then we have a strong move all the way back up, and we see three strong pushes into the peak, and again yesterday. They drop it down below the peak formation. They go sideways with a stop hunt on the traders who have shorted up top, consolidating and shifting down out of that range. Now what's interesting about the pound New Zealand is we see one push down, two pushes down, and then three pushes down into the peak formation low. And again, same thing, a consolidation that has occurred above that low point. So we'll be watching this to see how this consolidation trades. And again, if that breaks down, we'll see possibly a retest of that anchor point low. If it stays above this range, we could see a retest to the high of the week. Pound Aussie, anchor point low last Thursday. The market trades above, similar to the pound New Zealand, above the last high before the low consolidation sideways within that upper third breaks out level one level two level three for shifting down on on the Monday this week so we had three pushes to the high one two and three then the market dropped down but the market also gave us one push two push three pushes into a low into Tuesday consolidated and broke out to the long side to retest the high of the week. So again, if we consider this to be day one for this week, day two on Tuesday, and then one, two, three to the high yesterday on Wednesday, we see one push, two push, three pushes down yesterday, and then consolidation, the consolidation has not yet gone above that last high before the low but it has layered on top of 9700 round numbers and we could see that 9700 area act as potential support for a continuation and possibly a measured move of this range up if the market rolls over we could see a retest for the low of the week so again we'll be looking for uh, if Europe stays inside of this range and London opens up inside, we could see a break to the upside. If the market stop hunts high, we could see that market look to retest yesterday's low. So again, even within these daily cycles, you can count three pushes. You can count three pushes probably in each session, London, sorry, Asia, London, and New York. But it's important on that weekly cycle to know if the market is working one side and jamming in to trap tra traders down low short before they shift it up or trap traders up high before they drop it and shift it and move it down to the, the bottom of the market. Very important to not get caught up here buying if the market is jamming traders high up chasing longs and very important not to get caught down here shorting this market down near the lows and then being caught in a shift if it's going to do a measured move up. These types of trades can blow your account out. So stay disciplined traders, stay focused. Hopefully this helps and may the markets go with you.
Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburktrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7 Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets. And this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined and may the markets go with you.